Hey yo, it's Andy. Um, sitting out here in the shop, waiting on a couple of things to dry, so I can uh, get a little more done on them. Um, figure while I'm sitting here waiting. Sorry, I'll truck my bike down the road. <laughs> I get distracted easy. Um, figured while I was waiting on stuff to dry, we do like a little shop chat or a shop talk or something. I don't know what you call it, but. Anyways, I was sitting here thinking, being patient's hard, y'all. <laughs> Anything from sitting and waiting on stain and sealer to dry, to washing paint dry, to having to wait till next year to get my garden going again. Y'all um, seen a couple of videos of me working on, you know, putting in the new raised beds out here in the yard for uh, next year's garden. Um, I have a real hard time with being patient, especially when the weather's here in Alabama's been around 60, mid 60s to almost 70 degrees some days. And the middle and late November, it's 1st of December now, and it's, let's see, 58 degrees, and it's only about 1030 in the morning. But we're supposed to have a good cold front come through next week or so. So, you know, I, I just waste my time if I started planting. You know, the freeze and all that would get it. So, anyways, um, I reckon what I'm trying to say is patience is a good thing, even though a lot of folks like me might not have a whole bunch of it. <laughs> but... It is a good thing to have to wait because it teaches you patience. I know I'm I'm a little more I'm a little more patient than I used to be, and I still got a whole lot of working and going on before I'm as patient as I'd like to be. But at least I'm getting there. Um, and another thing, just cause you're stuck somewhere, like for me, for an example. Um. Man, I would love nothing better to be out in the country, sitting on a good 20 or 30 acres of my own, but I'm not right now. Hopefully one day I'll be there, but right now I'm in the city. I've got maybe, maybe a third of an acre, if that. It's just a regular city lot, you know what I mean? You know, just enough room for me to do some... It's not the real itty bitty small city lots, but it ain't no real acreage neither. But I gotta be patient. Maybe one day I'll get there, but in the meantime, I can still do what I can do here. You know, which is gardening, working down here in my little shop, um, canning up anything I grow. I'm gonna be learning how to can this coming summer and fall uh, from my bigger garden. Uh, I'm going to be working on getting me a pressure canner and all that good stuff to hopefully can up and maybe learn how to make some jellies or jams or something to another with all my hot peppers and maybe some, throw some apples in there or something, I don't know, that's, that's later on, I'm, I ain't, I'm still working and thinking on that, but I still got a little ways to go before I get that far, <laughs> um, but anyways, I'm um, sitting here waiting on stuff to dry, like I said, and figured I'd holler at y'all right quick, make a quick video, um, and say, hey, if you're stuck even in an apartment, grab you a couple of flower pots, you know, decent sized flower pots, throw them in front of a window, and plant you a tomato plant, and a pepper plant, or whatever you like. If you like squash, plant you a little squash plant. You know, stick it out on the balcony during the spring and summertime. Um, you know, if you're in the city, you can still grow a little garden if you got a little yard or something. You know, anything homegrown is better than nothing. In the way I see it, anyways. Um, well, alright y'all. Um, I don't really know where I was going with this. I was just thinking about a couple of things while I was waiting on stuff to dry. So, I reckon I'll quit rambling now. Um, hope this little shop chat talk thing wasn't too boring. 
and y'all get out there and do something fun, be productive, and try to enjoy life. You only get one, why not enjoy it while you're here? You know what I mean? Well, anyways, I hope y'all have a good day. God bless. Please like and subscribe. <laughs> and I will see y'all on the next video.